Hi, this is Travis. Today I'm going to show you um, a basic Space Invaders game. The recipe for all of this is on my blog, but um, it's kind of a boring game. There's four different aliens, uh, and if you let them hit you, ooh, ouch, I lose 10 points. Here's my score. You can see I get a point for killing each one. If I let them buy me, I will also lose three points because uh, if they get by the starfighter, they go to Earth and they wreck havoc. Anyway, that's kind of boring. Here's how I can improve it. Here's my invader sprite. I'm going to duplicate this one. Now I've got invader 1 and invader 2. Now invader 1, right now, chooses a random costume. So it looks like there's four invaders, but really there's just one type. I'm going to make it so he looks like Invader 1 every time. Throw that away. I won't change anything else. But Invader 2... Okay, I want Invader 2 to behave a little bit differently. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make him much slower. I'm going to change this value from 1.5, negative 1.5, to negative 0.7 half as fast. This, point towards and move one steps, that actually controls how quickly the uh, invader moves towards the starfighter. I'm going to change that to zero, so he will now fall straight down. I will also come over here, and since he is so much slower, I will make it so there are more of him. So I just change this value from 30 to 10. That will make it so there are about three times as many green aliens. Let's see how this works. Here comes the green aliens. There's lots of them, but they're slow. Blue aliens are kind of dangerous. But watch what happens. Did you see the... I can shoot right through the green aliens. They're really not that challenging. Additionally, if I run into one, it doesn't hurt me. In fact, it gives me some points. Let's fix that. So um, the first problem is that this laser is not hurting, sorry, the laser does not disappear after it hits Invader 2. Here's the script that makes it disappear after it hits Invader 1. We can duplicate that. Now we've got one script for Invader 1 and one script for Invader 2. So we could do it this way, or we could actually come over here to the operators and we can use the OR operator. Now this is exactly the same as this. If you like it this way, I mean this is a little shorter, maybe a little smarter but it's exactly the same as just having two if tests like we did before. Now the other thing we have to fix is in Starfighter. Here is the part of the script that uh, lets Invader 1 hit and damage uh, the Starfighter. We will duplicate that. And once again, if you really want to, uh, you could use the OR operator there. And uh, this way, you wouldn't need uh, quite as much horizontal space, but uh, if you use the OR operator, you need more horizontal space, less vertical space. It's all the same. I've looked for fast ways to do that, but when you can't use a list, you're just stuck using the... Uh, blue test conditions. Now, the laser does not fly through the green aliens, and it's actually quite a bit more challenging. Oops, I think I did something wrong. Oh yes, here, I was talking so much I forgot to change this to Invader 2. Okay, let's try again.
Incidentally, if I want to be really dangerous um, with the laser script, if I change this to 0 0.1, now I'm going to have much faster lasers. Let's see if the green alien can hurt us. Oh, there we go. You know, there's something that people with this type of program often get confused about. Uh, not this part, but right here. Because they see in the events bin, in the events bin, they see this. They think, why not just do like this? <coughs> hmm, pardon me. <coughs> hmm. So now, this should do the same thing, right? When you press the right arrow, you uh, move to the right by changing your x coordinates, and when you press the left arrow, you change your x coordinates. It should be the same thing, right? But watch how he moves. See, I hold down the key, but he actually is kind of jerky. It takes a, a while for him to get started. The motion is actually much smoother when I use a script like this. Oops, I've got to turn it on though. There we go, much smoother. Um, anyway, I hope you learned something from that. Uh, if you want to ask me a question in the comments, I will maybe get around to answering it, and uh, please visit my blog. Thanks for watching.